for so many years now, I have been looking forward to coming to Govardhan Eco Village. And I would have liked to use the opportunity of the Nexus 2015 to join you all. Unfortunately, it is absolutely impossible. So I join you through this message on organic farming and sustainable agriculture. Why is organic farming so important? It has always been important, but it's even more important in our times. In, I practice organic farming as my dharma. Because taking care of the soil, taking care of biodiversity, taking care of water, taking care of people's health, taking care of this beautiful planet is a dharma. It is an eco-dharma. But there are also other reasons why sustainable agriculture, organic farming, ecological agriculture, you can call it by what you name you want, but it is agriculture aligned with the laws of the earth, aligned with the cycles of the planet, the nutrition cycle, the hydrological cycle. And that agriculture is necessary to protect the planet as well as to give us healthy food. We've developed an agriculture that has no place on this planet. An agriculture that has its roots in war. All the chemicals that have gone into chemical farming are war chemicals. And it's no wonder that they harm the earth, they're pushing species to extinction, they're killing our bees, our birds, our soil organisms, and they're even killing farmers because those chemicals and chemically adapted seeds, especially GMOs, have a very high cost. Farmers borrow to use them. They're getting into debt. 300,000 indebted farmers of our country have committed suicide since 1995. It is not right. This land is supposed to be the land of Sujalam, Sufalam. Not a land where agriculture has become a curse. But those chemicals have other consequences too. When you use chemicals in farming, you have to use ten times the water. And so we have a water crisis. We've drained out every aquifer. We have diverted every river. And the pollutants go into lakes, rivers and oceans, killing them in turn. Some of the pollutants go into the sky. 40% of the greenhouse gases that are contributing to climate change come from industrial globalized agriculture. And in organic farming lies the solution by taking carbon out of the atmosphere and putting it into the soil where it belongs through the living plants, their living carbon and the living process of photosynthesis. In Navdanya, through saving seeds and intensifying biodiversity, we grow more food and nutrition per acre. We call it health per acre. Because yield doesn't measure anything except mass that leaves the farm to be traded. We're supposed to grow nourishment. Food is supposed to give health. Anna is supposed to be sarva or shadi, not a source of disease. 75% diseases are coming from the toxic food we are eating, the pesticides we are spraying, the GMOs that are being forced on people. And 75% of the planetary damage is also linked to that chemical agriculture. Soils are being desertified, water is being depleted, biodiversity has disappeared, and the air itself, through pollution, is damaged. The atmosphere cannot perform its function in regulating our climate. And yet the system is not really producing food. Only 30% of the food eaten globally comes from industrial chemical farms. 70% still comes from small farms that are being squeezed into a corner, given only 30% of the resources of the planet. And yet because it is more efficient, on 30% it is producing 70% of the food, and the food is richer in nourishment. We could feed two Indias if we went organic and biodiverse. And the tragedy right now 
of having to depend on bad imported dals is because we've destroyed biodiversity and mixtures in agriculture through the chemical monocultures of the Green Revolution. We must stop the imports and grow more dal. That must be our national mission. And that dal will fix nitrogen for free and give us rich protein. And finally, of course, is the issue of the agrarian crisis and farmers' suicides and indebtedness for an agriculture need that needs costly inputs. The only way to liberate our farmers from debt is to go organic. So we measure wealth per acre. And our study on wealth per acre has shown that the externalities, the costs not counted of chemical farming, amount to $1.2 trillion per year for India alone. If you were to add all of the world's agriculture, we are talking about trillions of damage to society, community, and the planet. And yet, when we grow our own food with our own seeds, farmers earn 10 times more. That is the way out of rural poverty. That is the way out of hunger and malnutrition. So the answers to climate change, answers to hunger and poverty, the answers to disease and malnutrition, all lie in growing organic. I hope together we can turn things around to make sure we heal the earth and human society.